Okay, so let's get started here. All right, let me orient you really nicely. So you can see what's going on. That's a page we did last time. And today I was inspired by a lady in, named Diane. I just happened to be peeking into the Paper Outpost Facebook group and I saw a picture that this lady made and uh, it was a beautiful picture. It had a collaged background and a bicycle on it. And I thought that was, she inspired me to do something in my junk journal. And uh, okay, so I got a couple ideas for this page and one involves a simple envelope, which I have here, just a regular simple envelope. I thought I might either do um, either a pocket or a flap, a flip out, something like that, um, or some kind of pocket just, or maybe just putting the envelope here and having this be the place where you could tuck something special or I could tuck something special. Um, so it's so weird to be thinking in terms of me actually junk journaling. Okay, okay. Um, and then this side, I thought maybe I could do something fun and collage to the page. And I did this little collage technique a long time ago and I haven't done it in ages and I don't really remember exactly how I did it, but we're gonna try today. So I took a book page. Yes, I did. And I think I just took some uh, inks if I remember, and yeah, I'm just gonna try this. I just inked the page in, uh, oh, I've got two book pages. Oh, glory be, I've got two book pages, more to work with, yay. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got a torn one now. Okay, these are very thin old pages, so that happens sometimes. But let me just uh, give it some different colors here and ink it up. Okay, the first one was worn lipstick. Second one coming at you, peeled paint. That uh, just happened to be the green I have. I also work with forest moss a lot, but I, had, I found green paint faster today. So I'm gonna try a couple different ways to get some color. And I could probably, I don't know, I think I can spritz this stuff too, right? Yeah, okay, that's probably gonna make a disaster mess and weaken the paper even more. Yeah, way to go, Pam. Oh boy. Um, okay. Ooh, that is so wetty, wet, wet now. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, let's get some other color on here. Let's do some. Vintage photo. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear the pages up anyway, so I don't, I'm not worried that it's uh, it's uh, wet and, and torn. Now that's actually just pretty the way it is. I mean, just kind of pick, whoops, where's my wet wipe? Get the wet, remember the handy wet wipes? They made baby wet naps for a reason, and that's because babies are messy and so are adults sometimes. But I bet those adults are having fun. That's right. Okay, here we go. Ah, I could probably use that for something, but it doesn't look very attractive at the moment. No, we put that aside. <laughs> All right, there, so we have that. I mean, that's just so pretty darn by itself. That would look so nice on a white page. Wouldn't that look nice? Look at that. That is just so pretty. I, I, I'm just like enamored by that at the moment. Hmm. Then I'm gonna throw my whole idea out the window and I'll do it over here on the back of this and then the white envelope could sit on top of that. Yes, that is what I will do. Okay, so there's a rip in it. That will not stop me. No, no. Rips are our friends. Oh boy, here we go. Um, <laughs> now I'm scared. I think I'm gonna use uh, Fabric Fix just because I know where exactly the glue is gonna go and I don't have to wait for it. Uh, but you could use wet white glue or anything here. I just happen to have this always at the ready. And ready to go, ready to go and having fun. Okay, here we are. Mm. Okay, trying to put this down. I don't care if it doesn't line up exactly perfectly where the rip is, I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, there we go. So now we have a page. I mean, that's not hard, is it? No, I mean, that was pretty easy. That went, well, that went off the, uh, the plan of attack. Um, so we have that and let us, let us, let me put a little, I don't know. I feel like I want to put a border on that page or something. So I'm, I'm rummaging in my, my hair. This is what I'm going to put on it. The scissors just found a little piece of seam binding, innocent looking. I'm going to put that there. I think is that what I'm going to do? No, nope, don't like it. Okay, back in you go. Go get something more colorful. All right, I rarely reach for the colorful bins. That's where I'm going. Going deep into the colorful bins. Okay, away from the neutrals and into the color we go. Whee, here we go. <laughs> All right, we're in there. what do we get? I got a piece of sari silk. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, very pretty, very purple. 
and uh, not present already so something different yes let's see I got a little seam there okay oh my I gotta open that little seam somehow all well, the fun little things we get to deal with along the way as we go right these things of unexpectation all right oh it's opening it's opening yeah it's giving way it's saying I I yield I yield to you I see the scissors coming I give all right here we go we need a little encouragement there we go all right let's see if we've got enough of you open that we can glue you down all right like that that's kind of pretty huh do we have enough of it though no, come on stretch you need to stretch it do- okay if you're gonna you, you're gonna make me put a bow up there or something aren't you yeah I can tell and you're gonna get all fat and chubby like on me make my book bulky aren't you just like it always happens okay what do we got there we got there I'm gonna call it a big fat almost I think oh yeah I think it's gonna work there we go we got it all right let's try glue sticks scotch create glue stick this time because I think it's gonna do this nice wide area and for light fabric it'll do fine and this is a very light fabric uh, sari silk uh, ribbons are just torn strips from um, beautiful saris um, and uh, the fabric is repurposed and as it should be because this stuff is amazing amazing it's so pretty the colors and everything and uh, hey when we get our hands on it look out world we're going big we're going big okay up there cover that little corner okay there we got it cover this little corner we're stretching this sorry till the nth degree here I think we got it and this little piece can be just nipped right off Beep. um snipped right off yep that's that's what I meant <laughs> okay there we go um all right very pretty very pretty I like that okay so now I've got some colored jam in there um what about over here do I do something there you know what I should write something there that's what I'm going to do I'm not just going to decorate pages Pam I'm going to write I was planning on writing over here it's okay you can actually write down this line what are you going to write well I was thinking about I had this line yesterday I thought of I think I wrote it or said it somewhere but I thought uh it was along the lines of what did I accomplish today question mark hmm several m's not much dot 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 but I paper crafted (laughs) and I'm going to give that a big fat heart yeah that's right so that means it was a good day there we go that's officially uh journaling right yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. counts okay and um I want to do more with this but let me go ahead and just I'm going to take my collage idea over here but now since I have color I'm not going to do I'm not going to spritz with color these I and I have a pile of stuff I have I just grabbed it from the scrap box bag my bag <laughs> my, my garbage bag full of scraps yeah it's, it's like that big at this point it, it burst out of the box and now it's in the garbage bag okay so I'm just going to make a quick montage collage over here and you could do it <clears throat> little pieces you could do it like stripes if you have a lot of these cutoffs you could just do a whole bunch of these in a row let me think on this for a minute let me glue up my page and see what I feel like doing there's no rush this is relaxation time are you grabbing your journal are we journaling together are, are you journaling like a pro and you old salty dog journaler and know how to do this and you're just writing pages upon pages and you're silently giggling at my one line (laughs) I'm feeling good about my one line that's all I have to say is maybe maybe that's all I got in me today you know or maybe I have um, a novel that's waiting to burst out there we go I'm going to piecemeal this I have a feeling and uh, I don't know I don't know whatever but you know it doesn't matter because it's all good and um, if it's your journal you get to decide how to do it so why not just have fun with it and if you feel like writing a lot write a lot if you feel like only writing a little bit only write a little bit and um, get get your head out of the have to's it has to be like this it has to be like that it has to look like Sally Sue's if 
it doesn't look like Sally Sue's, I'm, I'm not living up to whatever it is I'm supposed to be living up to. Uh, no, we're going to throw that right out the window, right out the door that it walked in on. Yep, no, out it goes. There, it's gone. And we're just going to have fun. So just let's just get with our papers and play and create a page um, that wasn't there before. And then 100 years from now, somebody can come across these journals and tear them up. <laughs> <laughs> or not, maybe they'll just save them. And I totally respect that. Oh, I, I met a wonderful woman, Patty, I believe her name was. She was one of the very first people that ever bought one of my journals, if not the first one. And um, she um, is an author. And uh, we used to have these great conversations because she said, you know, Pam, I really love your journals and everything, but it just, just breaks my heart to think that you tear apart books because as an author, I know how hard it is to make those books. And uh, I, you know, told her, I can totally understand, Patty, because, but then think about it, like, you know, I'm getting your books, not your books, Patty, but, um, um, you know, other people's books that would be left on shelves and not be seen by anybody, or maybe one person, but get them into a lot of people's hands. And, you know, I, I think it's so cool to be able to um, share the history of us and our world page by page. Well, I mean, why not, Right. I think it's kind of cool or whatever you're into you know if you're into um, nature and science or uh, mystery or grunge or you know who knows or or steampunk doesn't matter uh whatever whatever you get excited about can go in your journal and only you can decide that nobody else can decide that for you this is your space your place to play and i'm playing right now i i, I love i don't know there's something about collage and um uh, you know, I'm sure there's official ways to collage and, you know, make it look certain, if you're going for certain uh, techniques and, and looks and things like that. But there's something about the free flow of collage where you're just, you're just gluing paper and you're not being hard on yourself about it. You're just, you're just reckless, abandoningly, is that a word? Having fun. And uh, it's okay. Um, and it's freeing. Oh, I think I'm... I can even sit. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, we have a little more to cover. So we will not finish. We'll not stop until the work is done. Got a couple little bare areas there, but let's see. Where am I going to put my, my envelope? So I know you're thinking. You're thinking, Pam, you haven't really written anything. You just wait. Just wait, Missy, in the back row. There's writing coming, and I'll sh just show you. Okay. Boy, I better produce, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think these are like my tactics to avoid journaling, but actually, I mean, it's been fun so far. Did you notice the increased tone of my voice there? Hmm. Um, I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning, and I'm open to learning. I want, I want to find out, uh, you know, what it's all about, and and you know, maybe I'll become a great, you know, journaler of all time, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just like slither on back to the creating world. And just create the journals and that'll be my happy place and that's fine too but you know i thought it was worth a go okay so now all right i got a few peely uppies here I gotta deal with these guys i know i see y'all well i'm gonna bring in the big old envelope and he's gonna tack down a lot of you wayward souls here here we go put you down there and i think i'm gonna have you open like that and then i'm gonna put some things in here that's what i'm gonna do okay now I'm going to pull out the old vintage photo. And this is not necessarily just fun. I'm just going to ink it up just a little bit. And I like the blankness of this. Yeah. Now this in and of itself could be a place to write. Right on its face. I could like, I could come along like, come and look inside for magical mysteries. Ta-da! There they are. Okay. So I could do that. But I have, I have other ideas. I do. I have other ideas. Like a million and one things you can do with an envelope, right? Right? Fold it, twist it, cut it, burn it, edge it, dye it, glue it, sticker it. Oh, I know. Right? Right. Okay, there we go. Oh, I found a whole big bag of stickers that I didn't know I had. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Pam, knowing where your stuff is. Um, and uh, so I have a, a little bit of a plethora of stickers, I think I might. Well, we'll see. Let's see. Okay, so the original idea... Oh, let's get this baby glued down. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to, I'm going to glue the hole back down. Yeah. It's not going to be a secret back pocket. No, we're not doing any of that stuff. No, this is, this is a writing thing. There will be a written word. It's coming. I can feel it anytime now. Anytime. Yep. 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 And, uh, there got that down. Oh, I think I need a little accentuation of the, the shape of the, the papers here. Maybe a little here on the edging. Oh, I should have done that back fold. Yep. I'll go in here and fake do it. Yep. There we go. I fake myself <laughs> out. <laughs> there, you'll never know you did that, Pam, <laughs> in your journal. Okay, there we go. So we have that. Now, what can I take tuck into it? Well, you could do a lot of things. If you have index cards, you could tuck those in there and write on those. If you have um, library catalog cards, you could tuck those in there and then write on the back. If you have digi kits, you can cut some of those up and write on the back, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. Let me see if these are going to fit. You going to fit? And don't give me any hard time now. If you don't fit, I, I don't want to be talking to you. Oh, okay. You might fit. Okay. And these are officially... This is from the, thank God I have the name on this one, Botanical Sketches from 1697 um, in my Etsy shop if you're looking for those, but you could use playing cards. Um, you could just cut up images from a book and, and put them on, um, you know, cardstock or copy paper and just create a little writing space in the back. But let me go ahead and just trim some of these up. Okay, I'm over here and I'm trimming. I'm on my guillotine. And now that I've tightened the screws on my guillotine, it's like a new guillotine. So if anybody has issues with a guillotine not, not uh, cutting well, check to see that all the screws are tight because sometimes over time they get loose and they wiggle. And then uh, that's where the problem comes in. All right, so let me just cut a few of these up. I try and make these so they're easy to cut because, yeah, I, hey, I use them too and I just want something easy to cut. You know what I mean? I don't want to be in there fussy cutting for seven hours. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a good fussy cut. I think it clears the cobwebs out of the brain. A good fussy cut does. But um, my, my, my cobwebs are uh, happy right where they are right now and they don't want a fussy cut. <laughs> so I figured I'd pick something simple. And I love this idea of making, whoops, come back here. No, nope, one landed on Sunny down there. Where are you? Oh, he's eating it. Hang on. Let me get that. Sunny. <laughs> Sunny, I considered it a sacrificial offering to the dogs. You know what I mean. Yep. Oh, there's my nose. That is my nose. Yes. Okay. I'm going back to sleep now. Bye, everybody. <laughs> All right. So that was a word from Sun Bun, as he is uh, affectionately known around here as Mr. Flufferpants. Yes. <laughs> so Mr. Flufferpants. Uh, I've just been thinking about what he's been doing in life lately, and Mr. Flufferpants has mastered the bike ride. He's very good at sitting in the, in the basket in front, and uh, he's uh, very good at uh, being tucked into a tote bag. He doesn't mind that. Okay, so I have like a bunch here now. Sorry, I was gone for like 100 years. Um, what else are you good at? Car rides, you're good at that. I'll just cut this one over here. I'm here. It's too, way too far to turn my body to the right and go back for this one last cut. Okay. And, um, what else you got? Oh, your ear scratching. You're very good at that. Oh, he's, I think I told you he's uh, learning how to swim. Yeah. I, I am emphatic about teaching, uh, my animals how to swim. So in case anybody falls in the pool, they know how they can get out. And, uh, so I put a big red, I put a big yellow circle at where the stairs are and, um, hopefully train him so he can spot that. And then I did that with my other four and it worked. And, uh, um, you know, inadvertently the, the slider gets left open occasionally. I'm just going to round these corners because I think that'll be extra cutie cute cute. Um, not mandatory, but kind of fun. And, uh, you know, just for peace of mind and, uh, the best, you know, the best thing you can do is train them how to swim and how to get out. I mean, because even if they know how to swim, but if they don't know how to get out of the pool, that's the thing. So, yeah. And then, uh, so we, we start slowly and uh, we do like, you don't know, five swims and uh, very close to the, the stairs first. And then we just go a little further away, a little further away. There are Cheerios involved. Yes, it happens. Uh, and not just for me. <laughs> 
for him too. All right, so we now we have this nice little set. It almost looks like a deck of cards, doesn't it? But I love making these little cards that can go in um, projects and you can use them as um, like little inspiration cards. You could write just one word on the back and, and it'd be an inspiration. Um, or perhaps um, a note to thyself or uh, a quote or a poem or a positive thought or um, a special date or anything like that. I can use them anything, anything. Okay. Um, let's see. So this is my journal and I gotta think of something that I would put on a card to myself. Now, now I could just randomly write uh, like journal entries on these too and I could date one, each one a different date. That could be cool too. So these are officially now little journal cards and I'm using, I believe this is, um, it's called 65 pound paper. Um, and it's a little heavier than uh, paper, uh, printer paper, but not as thick as cardstock. But I think it's nice for um, journals because it's relatively thin, so it doesn't bulk them up too much, but it's relatively thick enough that it has a little to it. You know what I mean? It's not like a flappy loo. It's got some substance and... Uh, Easier to write on, I think, yeah. I mean, remember, regular paper was designed for writing, so never never snub thy nose at a regular piece of copy paper because, yeah, we, I mean, just think about how thin your paper w was in your notebooks and, you know, we wrote on that stuff all the time. It was it was a common thing. It really was. I mean, I know that there are youngins here who don't believe me, but it's true. We actually wrote on paper and uh, we had a good time. <laughs> it went well for many years. Nobody questioned the process. Oh, we didn't know this whole internet thing would come along and uh, vaporize all the paper known to mankind. I think that's part of why I have such an obsession with paper. I feel like it's disappearing. Yeah, I just, you know, even my husband made his um, office paperless. Ugh, you know? I mean, just all that great business ephemera, gall darn it. Vanish, vanish. And, you know, a lot of companies will shred their their papers for security reasons and I understand I get that sorry but um I like business ephemera I think it's kind of cool um to see what people ordered and um you know did I do these it doesn't look like I did these why didn't I do these oh I guess I missed them and uh yeah it's kind of it's kind of cool just to see uh what was going on back then and how they interacted. My parents had a, a retail store growing up, so I remember having a lot of business papers and documents and stuff like that. It was a shoe store, an old shoe store. And uh, so there were the order, uh, you know, ledger book and the, um, you know, the sales records and, and, you know, there was like a lot of paper around always. And, you know, somebody was always doing something accounting related. And uh, so, okay, so how many do I have here? I don't know, one, two, three four, five, six. Okay. All right. So now, hmm, what should I do on the back? And, and should I leave the black, the back plane? Now, if I pull this out, they look, they look pretty like that. See, I think that's kind of pretty. Oh, they, oh, they will. They'll fit like that. Oh, I think that's really cool. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fun? Look how fun that is. Like I did nothing, an envelope and some paper. I mean, and you could do this with playing cards too. You don't have to use digi kits. I remember that. So um, I just yeah, I have a bunch of these around here. So I figured they're fun to play with and they're easy. You know, if you're looking for something inspirational and easy, there you go. Very, uh, you know, low energy, high reward kind of thing. <laughs> it's kind of good that way. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so now we're going to write something profound. I'm not going to use a word stamp, no. Okay. I'm going to challenge myself. Okay, I'm going to read this passage. And the first thing I come across a number. That's the number of words I'm going to put on each card. Okay. Now remember, it's when I come across it. So I might miss one. So let me go. Okay. Sir Philip Sidney said, Not of another ballad about the same event. I never heard of the old song, Pretty Douglas. I found out my heart with more than a trumpet. Okay, no numbers yet. Keep going. And Addison wrote, Two! Ah, two. There it is. Two. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to put two words on each card. All right, I can do that. All right, get yourself organized here. Put these over here. Make some space, Missy. Make some space. Make a little plan. All right, put out so you can see a little better. Okay, here's me plan. Here's me plan. Okay, two words. Now I need an inspiration word. Like, two words about what? 
you know, like, is it going to be two words about the weather, two words about dog species, two words about, let's go for the second word that I see and see if that inspires us. Appears in. Huh. Well, in. Not the most inspiring word. But let's go with just appears in. Okay. Appears in. Okay. Well, something could appear in the sky, right? Okay, let's think of that. Okay, let's think of things that appear in the sky. Um, clouds. <laughs> okay, I'm going easy here. Clouds. Okay. See, a journal doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to follow logic. You don't have to sit down and write it like a diary. You can, you can, but you don't have to. It doesn't have to be, okay, on May, you know, 22nd, whatever, um, we, I did this, I did that. No, I'm just, I had appears in the clouds. Okay, and what else could appear in the, cl- in the sky? The uh, birds, okay. I saw some nice birds this morning. Mm-hmm. I did. What did I see? I uh, saw pelican. I saw, oh, Canadian geese. Now, see, only this would mean something to me because I was there and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know where you were sitting exactly. You were sitting on your back patio and looking out at the, the lawn and the lake, and this is what you saw. Okay, what else did you see? Oh, you saw a green heron this morning. Yes, a rare sighting of the green heron. Okay, so I know I'm putting, I know, I know I'm putting more than two words, but it doesn't matter because it's just a little launching pad. So maybe these are my inspirations from my prompts taking me to new places. Okay, so here we go. Means nothing to nobody, right? What will yours be? What birds did you see today? Hmm? Let's see. Pelican, Canadian geese, what else did I see out there? Oh, we always see the, um, here we go. The red-winged blackbirds. Oh, and we saw some ducks and ducks. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's that's where we're going with that. That one's done. Okay, so now we're going to write with this one. Okay, what appears in appears in a show? Okay, so let's think of that. What appears in a show? Um, um, the protagonist appears in the show or the play or whatever. And who else? Um, the, I don't know what the official word is, but I'm thinking like the bad guy. I know there's an antagonist, but I don't want to use that because I already kind of did that up here. So I'm going for, I was thinking of like, wasn't Faust the comic relief or what was, no, Falstaff. He was the comic relief guy. I'm bar- like dredging this out of some Shakespeare class I took a long time ago. Falstaff was like comedy relief. Okay, we'll put Falstaff down. I'm not quite sure how Falstaff is spelt. I'm just going to take a stab at it. Falstaff and I want to say the nemesis, but it's it's really the antagonist, but I'm just going to say the nemesis. Nemesis. I'm going to practice my calligraphy. You ever tried to practice that stuff? It's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. And it's hard. And I don't get it. When you look at that old writing that people had, they were so good at it. They were so good at it. it you know, they just knew it. They didn't have a computer around the corner laying down anywhere just to go right on it. What else appears in a show? Um, I don't know. I got the words. The end. There we go. Curly Q. All right. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing to nobody but me. Or maybe next time I come across this, I'll go write a story about a protagonist or a story about Falstaff. Did I spell that right? Does anybody know? Oh, male, male person's here. Hello. Bringing stuff. Yay. Okay. Okay. Now, what else appears? Oh, appears in a window. What appears in a window? You know what I love when people put a little candlelight in a window? Yeah, I'm going to put that. Okay. Oh, is candlelight one word or two? Candlelight. It feels like it's one word, but I don't have room really, so I'm going to make it two. I can do that. It's 
my paper. <laughs> I can make up my entire own language. Did you know that? <laughs> um, okay, candlelight, and what else appears in uh, faces? Pa- faces? Okay, let's try a different font. Let's try like a uh, weird font. I don't know. Like it almost like, I don't know. I'm not very good at font, so I'm, I'm playing here. Faces. Okay, there we go. And then what else appears in a window? Ghosts. Ghosts. Don't they always have like a, a ghostly figure? A oh, ghostly figure. That's a good one. Okay, I'm going to write this one really small. <laughs> I don't know why I just am. Okay, here we go. Small G. All right, here we go. All right, Mrs. Miller, you would be proud, my my English grammar school teacher. Yep. I think you would be. I don't know. She'd know whether candlelight was one or two words. She she knew everything. Ah, okay. Appears in... How about just appears in your mind? Okay. Or appeared, appeared in my... Appeared in my mind. Okay, so what would appear in my mind? Thoughts? Okay. Okay. Let's try a different one. I don't know if that looked really different. But do um, you remember when you were trying to like write like somebody else when you were a kid? You were trying to learn how to like do different... You remember when you were trying to learn how to do your mother's uh, signature so you could write your own notes? <laughs> Pam will not be in school today, signed Pam's mother. You remember those notes? <laughs> okay, uh, thoughts. Um, okay, how about we do wishes? And dreams. Okay, and hopes, because we have more room. Okay, there we go. And candlelight. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now, what else appears in... Um, well, I think ghosts just appear. Maybe they don't appear in... The, well, they could appear in a window, but they could just appear. And then if they appeared, they would appear in something. So let's see. Uh, appeared before me. Okay, well, that's mysterious. Okay, what about, where else would a ghost appear? Okay, in a cemetery. Oh, I think I spelled it wrong. Cemetery, I think it's E-R-Y. Yeah, I think so. Oh, now I can't quickly Google it because my phone is occupied. Oh, everything is just exposed. <sighs> okay, cemetery. I think it's ease. I think it's all ease. Um... Oh, man, if there's an A. <laughs> okay. Um, where else do ghosts appear? Ghosts. Oh, phew, the attic, right? Yeah. The attic. Okay, yeah. And where else? Um, well, there was the Phantom of the Opera, and he kind of hung out around old pipe organs. How about that? Old pipe organs. Okay. All right. And then what else appears? Oh, angels. Angels appear. Angels appear before me. Were you yelling that out? I thought so. I heard you. I heard you. Yep. Yep. Fourth row, second over. Yep. Gotcha. Um, What else appears? Well, Sonny appears. Sonny always appears like when I'm like outside and I'm looking in the plate glass and he appears. Okay, so sunshine appears. Sunshine appears. Oh, and then Papa just appeared. Okay, hello, Papa. And uh, how's Holly? Has he had his Audi time yet? Not, but he will have it shortly. Okay, yeah, yeah, you heard that, everybody. Holly gets his Audi time. Okay, so Holly will then appear in Papa's office. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we have completed our official 
prompt cards. So these can mean just anything to you, nothing to you, a play space for you, uh, a dedicated journalistic uh, haven, um, a place to start a novel, a place to start a diary, a place to put so many things. But I just, I don't know, isn't that fun? Just making little cards that could be tucked somewhere. And here they go. They go in and they are snugly bugly. Yeah. There you go. You want something there? Okay, let's go get one of those mini stickers we found. All right. It's right here. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just going to grab first one. What's that? Oh, that's huge. All right. Just take it. Get this. Okay. Sometimes I try not to second guess myself too much. Oh, let's back up a little. Oh, and that kind of that kind of complements those colors over there. Get the purple and that color and the gray. That's really weird how that happened, right? Maybe we'll stick you like that. Okay. Now we will attempt to get this apart. Dun 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 Now we're going to read War and Peace. Okay, no, we got it. Okay. And we're tucking the old stickeroo in. I, it's a, just one little sticker, so, and it's in mine. So I could use regular glue and reinforce it and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, it's okay. It's my journal. Yeah. And maybe just a little more ink and I can say we were done. Yeah. So there we have completed the next page. Should I date it just so we can say we did? Um, okay. So what's, what's, well, technically officially today is... Um, the eight, 18th, 5, 18, 21. Okay. So I think this is probably gonna come out on Friday. So I've got, I'm, I'm make, recording it a couple days ahead. Um, so there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. This is a very simple page, nothing fu fancy or fussy or just, just relaxing and goofing and, and playing around. So let's just tuck all those in and see if they close. Yes. Do I need something to hold that? Like we always need something to hold that, don't we? All right, I'll make it something. <laughs> it could be all obligatory on me. What do we have here? It's kind of pretty. Yeah, let's just use that. Just rip this little piece of paper off. It's thicker than that paper, so it should hold it. Oh, I could make it like a little heart. No, oh, it's heart, heart-ish. Not exactly heart, but yeah, close enough. Still kind of cute. Yeah. So fun, just little, when you have little bits of paper around, you can just play with them to your heart's content. Yep, there's no right or wrong. There, just stick that on there, right? Okay, where's me Fabrifix? Okay, just a little butt end here. Okay. There, there. Da 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 All done, very simple. Low pressure and did some journaling a la Pam. Uh, so maybe we'll branch it out and we'll get, you know, a little more you know, like journaly, journaly, journaly as we go. But, you know, we're, 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 we're tiptoeing in slowly, just like that. Yeah, and see how it goes. So um, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, I'm hoping you're giving this a go too, or you're just journaling the way you journal and having fun at it, however that is. Um, thanks so much for being here. Um, if you have fun here or find value, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, uh, you may have heard that my video uh, links are all down below. My video links, all my um, links to my uh, odd little things um, are all down below every video in the description box. Like you can find my um, Etsy shop with my vintage digital kits and sometimes some ephemera collections or journals or journal bundles and all sorts of fun things. Um, I have a uh, Amazon store with favorite tools and supplies, a newsletter link, which is a free monthly emailed newsletter with a free digital image and um, checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, junk journal tips and updates from me. Um, my videos come out Mondays, to, m Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time and my podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, uh, Etsy, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Facebook group. And remember, I, oh, I've got a fun Facebook group. Come on over and check it out. We're doing weekly and monthly challenges and having fun with the videos and, and getting so inspired by each other. So thank you for that. Love seeing what you guys are making. And uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And for gosh sakes, go get some inky fingers and have some fun today. Take care. Bye.